beautiful loaded nachos here at the campsite. What is up YouTube? Today we are here, Richard Bong State Park, Vern Wolf Lake, out here on a 90 degree day. This is a special guys, because I do not fish anything over 80 something degrees. It just gets too hot. But uh, to my left here, we have panfish on beds, which tells me personally a lot because I have a lot of on the water experience. We're gonna try to get any big fish lurking. Hopefully it's gonna be a good day. Stay tuned and we'll find out. Huge pike falling right now. Ugh. Huge pike falling right now, guys. He won't hit it though. Well, fellas, the real frustrating thing with today's outing is I'm only fishing a 30 by 30 foot area. I only brought out a few lures, yet I'm getting hit over and over again by another pike. They're only coming at it once, swiping it, and then I'm not getting another chance. I'm gonna do one more roundabout. It's probably about my fifth one. I've missed a lot of fish today, and I'm not happy about it. So hopefully we can make it up. That's one good one. Stay tuned. I just missed another one, guys. This is insane. So the frustrating thing about today is that I'm getting tons of bites, I'm not hooking up. Typically when that happens, I switch my uh, lure and I go smaller, I downsize. I'm not doing that today because I feel like the profile of my lure is what's getting me those strikes. I'm trying hard, I've missed one big one, seen several follows, got several bites. And this is all within a 30 foot span, 30 by 30 span. So I'm gonna kayak back, let the wind take me back down. I'm gonna cast again, but I switch my spinnerbait onto my frog and rod, which is a faster gear ratio, but it's not a medium heavy rod. It has barely any bend. It's a heavy rod, so. But since I'm using a spinnerbait, that should be fine. Let's go. I don't understand. It's so frustrating. Got him that time, boys. In the net. Oh, he's not in the net. He got out of the net. Is he off? Is he still on there? He's still on there, but he's not in the net. Somehow came out of the net, but he's still on there. Jesus Christ. What in the world is going on today? So we're gonna... Oh, boy. Almost. Almost less. All right, guys. Well, apparently we have a hole in our net, and that's why he got out of our net. But we're gonna get him up here. Yeah. <sighs> All right, guys. After so many, so many flow throughs, man, we finally, we finally got one of those followers. Nice fish, but ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Nice fish. Look at those teeth. Out here in the deep water, we're here, uh, I don't even think it's officially summer, but it's been so hot this week, 90 degrees. I set out to do some frogging, but uh, literally once I got on the edge of these weeds in that deep hole and I was getting hit after hit after hit, they seemed all small fish up until this guy that finally got hooked up, man. But they've been tough to get hooked up to me. 
really tough. We're going in for the release. Richard Bong State Park, right in front of the beach. Right in front of the beach. Going in for the release. There he goes. Just missed one. Just missed one. Ugh. It is frustrating. Not a small fish. Oh yeah. This is a fighter right here, boy. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Ah. Here's another one, guys. Beautiful. Vern Wolf Lake, Northern Pike, literally out here in the deep water right in front of the beach. 90 degree day. Deep water. They're just hunting shad right now. Hunting shad. Right now, my spinnerbait is replicating a crappie, actually. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Going in for the release. There he goes. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> guys we're on one of the deepest points on this lake 90 degree day it's been several 90 degree days I had an idea the pike were going to sit off the, the, the deep point right off the deep weed edge and boy are they sitting there today several bites Ooh. They are frisky fish. They're cooling me down themselves. <sighs> Gonna get him up right now. All I'm doing today on this beautiful Wednesday is fishing a deep, deep, deep point. Literally, it's about. I don't know, I think it's six, six, five, six feet, and then it just slowly slopes to 14. I'm right on that slope, tossing the spinnerbait, constantly paddling up in the wind, retossing that spinnerbait, and we called it today, boys. My net just fell in the water, but it's hooked, it's hooked by my uh, spinnerbait, so we should be good. I think third pike today, deep water spinnerbaiting. And there he goes. Now let's hope we get our net back here. 
because it is falling deep down there. That's what I'm saying, guys. We're in deep water today, and I don't necessarily fish deep water. But today we're fishing. We're casting towards the weeds, but we're sitting in deep water. This, this actually, this spinnerbait's done pretty good for me. We did do good here on the crappie. I bought this spinnerbait specifically because of that to try here. And so far, out of all the time we've thrown the gold and black one that we normally throw, this one has done far better by ho hooking up with two nice ones. Whew. Awesome. Keep it going after I get this tangle out. So I've only got two pike on this spinnerbait, but boy, have they destroyed it. No oh, unbelievable. Ah, oh, he came off. First cast after I just caught one. That's crazy. He came off though. Unbelievable, man. There's a ridiculous amount of pike in this lake. There's another one. Look at that. After I just missed one. That's ridiculous. There's way too many pike in this lake. Ugh. Way too many fucking pike in this lake. <laughs> Holy sh! All right, guys. Literally just missed the pike. Next cast, we catch a pike. There are so many pike in this lake. It's insane. So much fun. All right, guys. Here's number, I believe, four. All about the same size, this probably being the smallest one of them. Let me get the hook out of them. You just feel it. I mean, you're reeling in your spinnerbait. You feel that light vibration. It just gets slack line. Just loose line, set the hook, and these guys are on. At least lately. Earlier, though, all day, when we first came out, we were missing fish after fish after fish. But now, it's catch after catch after catch, especially since we switch over to that uh, spinnerbait that resembles a crappie. It's white with black flecks. Resembles more of a crappie. And you saw that March video that we did. Maybe that's what they're chasing out here in this deep water. Right in front of the beach, by the way. <laughs> and that mofo went deep. We are sitting in 19 feet of water. Awesome. Getting more nibbles. Oh my god. Just missed them, of course. There's ridiculous. He just took my rod. That fish just fucking took my rod. No way. Guys, that fish just, I hooked the fish and it took my rod. Like, just slipped right out. I mean, it was back to back to back fish. My hands are wet, but oh my God. That was my frog and rod with my best reel. <sighs> Man. I got another rod I'm casting out there. I'm trying to let it sit to the bottom so I can uh, bring it in slowly and ideally snag my other rod, hopefully. All right, guys, so we tried for about 45 minutes to cast for that one rod that we just lost. And uh, it was a no-go, so we're going to end tonight um, on a sad note, even though we caught so many pike. And it could have continued. Uh, we could have caught a lot of pike tonight. It was a good night for what I finally figured out and where I was doing it and what I was doing. But um, 
things happen, you know, that's life. So we're gonna accept with, uh, we're gonna accept what we got with what we did. And guys, don't get it twisted. Amazing, great outing today at Richard Bong State Park. Even though I lost my rod, that's the only reason I'm disgusted with today's outing. So typically there's a trigger on a bait casting rod. You see it right there. And I typically, when I'm frogging or anything, when I'm fishing for big fish, I'm holding that trigger. Because when the fish bites and you get that tug, you can hold it with this. Even when your hands are wet, no matter how wet they are, no matter how slippery everything is, if you holding that trigger, fish will not get away. The rod will not get away. Today, I'm like this. And what happened? That fish pulled and boy did he pull. Rod went all the way into the water. Very disappointing on that one aspect of today. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna plunge with my magnet and little treble hook and I'm gonna continuously try to get my fishing rod back, my setup so I can save that fish if he has not freed himself already. Um, typically when you catch a pike you have to keep that pressure so I'd assume he would be able to free himself um, once that rod gets down in the weeds and gets snagged. Ah, so frustrating guys, I cannot even begin to explain how frustrating. When you fish this long, you don't want to make a big rookie mistake like that, and today I did. Um, I was in an area where I, I found the pike, I located them, I was getting tap, 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 slowly adjusted my lure setup to get what they wanted, finally got what they wanted, they're hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, and then I make the stupid mistake to lose my whole setup on the literally the perfect setup to continue this for another hour or so. So we're cutting it short today, and I think it's four or five pike. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. See you guys in the next one. And there we are, guys. Richard Bong State Park. We are all loaded up right there. Except minus one rod. <laughs> We'll put it past us, we'll get through it, and we will move on to catch some bigger, better, and brighter fish. But today could have been way bigger and better outing if we would have maintained that trigger on that rod. Happy fishing.